Hey, yeah, we're the same brothers from a long time ago. We was talking about television and doing it on the radio. What we did was to help our generation realize they got to get out there and get busy because it wasn't going to be televised. We got respect for young rappers and the way they freeway them. But if you're going to be teaching folks things, be sure you know what you're saying. Older folks in our neighborhood got plenty of know-how. Remember, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be out there now. And I ain't coming at you with no disrespect. All I'm saying is that you damn well got to be correct. Because if you're going to be speaking for a whole generation, and you know enough to try and handle their education, be sure you know the real deal about past situations and ain't just repeating what you heard on a local TV station. Sometimes they tell lies and put them in a truthful disguise. But the truth is, that's why we said it wouldn't be televised. They don't know what to say to our young folks, but they know that you do. And if they really knew the truth, why would they tell you? The first sign is peace. Tell all them gun-toting young brothers that the man is glad to see us out there killing one another. We raised too much hell when they were shooting us down, so they started poisoning our mind and trying to jerk us all around. And then they tell us they got to come in and control our situation. They want half of us on dope and the other half in incarceration. If the ones they want dead ain't killed by what they instigated, they can put some dope on the brother's body and claim it was drug-related. Tell them drug-related means there don't need to be no investigation, or at least that's the way they're going to play it on the local TV station. All your nine-millimeter brothers, give them something to think about. Tell them you heard that this is the new word. They got to work that stuff out. But somehow they feel in the wrong way with a gun in their hands. They feel it real independent, but they just pull in contracts with a man. Five and five will tell you it's hopeless out there on the avenue, but if they really knew the truth, why would they tell you? And if they look at you like you're insane and they start calling you scarecrow and say you ain't got no brain or start telling folks that you suddenly gone lame or that white folks have finally co-opted your game or worse yet, implying that you don't really know. That's the same thing they said about us a long time ago. Young rappers, one more suggestion before I get out of your way. But I appreciate the respect you give me and what you got to say. I'm saying protect your community and spread that respect around. Tell brothers and sisters they got to calm that bullshit down. Because we're terrorizing our old folks and we brought fear into our homes. And they ain't got to hang out with the senior citizens. Just tell them, damn it, leave the old folks alone. And we know who ripping off the neighborhood. Tell them that BS has got to stop. Tell them you're sorry they can't handle it out there, but they got to take the crime off the block. And if they look at you like they think you're insane, they'll start calling you scarecrow, thinking you ain't got no brain, or start telling folks that you've suddenly gone lame, or that white folks have suddenly co-opted your game. Or worse yet, saying that you really don't know. That's the same thing they said about me a long time ago. And if they tell folks that you finally lost your nerve, that's the same thing they said about us when we said Johannesburg. But I think you young folks need to know that things don't go both ways. You can't talk respect on every other song or just every other day. What I'm speaking on now is the raps about the women folks. On one song, she's your African queen, and on the next one, she's a joke to do. And you ain't said no words that I haven't heard, but that ain't no compliment. It only insults eight people out of ten and questions your intelligence. Four letter words or four syllable words won't make you a poet. It will only magnify how shallow you are and let everybody know it. And if they look at you like they think you're insane or they call you scarecrow thinking you ain't got no brain or start telling folks that you suddenly gone lame or that the white folks have finally co-opted your game or you really don't know, they said that about me a long time ago. If they finally start telling people that you lost your nerve, that's what they said about Johannesburg. You ain't insane. You have got a brain. You haven't gone lame. You have got your game. Remember, keep the nerve. Keep the nerve. Keep the nerve.